Next up, we can hit it with the Everclear, all right? Just to keep everything sanitary, because I know some people will go, hey, is that even clean? It clean now. Everclear is 60% alcohol. Yes, it is 60%, but that's the bare minimum to sanitize. You're going to add other ingredients to it, so it's going to bring that ABV down. And once again, just because you sanitize something doesn't mean it's safe to eat or drink. What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video, and today we're going to watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's go check this out. Got my Chardonnay, my rosé running, coming with some orange slices. He's making another punch bowl in the sink? Did he not learn anything from the first time he's done this? You got another cherry soda here. Look at these pork, this is crazy. Ah! 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 some strawberry slices, a little pineapple, and then you got some lime slices to keep away the scurvy, homeboy. All right? Yeah, but not the salmonella, not the E. coli. Next up, we can hit it with the Everclear, all right? Just to keep everything sanitary, because I know some people will go, hey, is that even clean? It clean now. Everclear is 60% alcohol. Yes, it is 60%, but that's the bare minimum to sanitize. You're going to add other ingredients to it, so it's going to bring that ABV down, which makes it even more unlikely that it's going to kill any germs. And once again, just because you sanitize something doesn't mean it's safe to eat or drink. Trust me, okay, this kill anything. Right. No, it won't. 60% is the bare minimum. In a lab or medical setting, the ABV for the hand sanitizer or alcohol sprays are going to be around 70%, which this Everclear is not. A lot of people out there searching for a cure. This right here, it cures all. Okay? Oh, yeah. No, it doesn't. Sanitizing doesn't mean that it's medicine. Drinking 120 proof, 60% ABV alcohol is not going to cure any diseases that you have. It's only useful for sanitizing surfaces or your hands. Next, we come behind with a touch of Mexico. A little tequila. Ain't never hurt nobody. Of course, there's plenty of stories and anecdotes of people getting hurt because they drank too much tequila. He's called the tipsy bartender. He's never heard of people hurting themselves when they're drunk. You wake up in the morning, you're a little thirsty, you just stick your face in this. No need to shower. Come behind with a little vodka. Can we get a tornado? Tor Why are you adding vodka? You just added Everclear. Everclear is just high proof vodka. And the wine is still going. You got a little Malibu just to keep it tropical, okay? It was never tropical to begin with. It's a little tropical flavor. Now I know where we are. But this clean, okay? This is clean. Anyone it's not clean. Just because something is sanitized, if it was sanitized, it doesn't mean it's safe to eat or drink out of. Next, we come behind that with a little triple sec. If at first you don't succeed, keep trying. <laughs> okay? Wait, this is a bathroom. He's doing this in a bathroom sink? A little cranberry juice. A little bit of red. Oh, Lord. You see, red is a delicious color. Red says delicious. It's just a color. It doesn't mean anything. Some types of red food coloring is made from beetles. It's called cochineal. It's a natural food coloring used to dye some foods red. It's also traditionally used to dye clothing. The red color doesn't mean it's going to be delicious. What kind of Kool-Aid do you want, boy? Red. Okay. Nobody know Kool-Aid flavors. Little lemon lime soda. We're not going to call it 7-Up. Just of course, it's not refrigerated because all the carbonation is lost. So this thing's gonna be flat. Little seven up. Look at that. And guys, if you're, if you're at a party and you're in a rush, you just go like this. You just squeeze. And you get all. No! Why would you do that? So not only is it room temperature, which is gonna make it not retain its carbonation, and now you squeeze it so you lost even more carbonation. So now it's flat. I want you to notice something strategic. Oh, you got a little boy in there, but the boy can't swim. Let's just shake the duck. We got the duck here, we can just place him right there, okay? Looks like he can't swim. Now guys, this is important. Why do you take it out? It floats on its own. Notice I'm stopping. Why am I stopping? Come here. 
All your sinks have this little hole right there, and that water is gonna run. We are close. We are close. That water is gonna. Yeah, that's where you plunge, and all that dirty water comes out. Like I said, just because something is sanitized doesn't make it safe to drink out of. Run into the into the all the drawers and everything underneath. So you need to stop before that. Okay, that's your little sink. Or just don't drink out of the sink in the first place. You know how dirty that whole piping system is? It's exposed. This is not a closed system. Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave it on the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.